Each year or even more frequently, the Chinese company OnePlus releases a new phone that sets a standard in its price category. The OnePlus 6 is the latest and probably the greatest offering the company has ever made, and it now costs about 530 bucks, but it offers so many premium features of the phones that still cost 200, 300, or even 400 dollars more. My name is Linus with the TechLine YouTube channel, and here's my full OnePlus 6 review. The device ships with a fast charger, USB cable, other usual stuff, and a soft TPU case. The phone comes in different colors, but my favorite is the silk white. The device sports a matte glass finish that looks really nice, and most importantly, the back plate does not attract fingerprints. I'm just tired of living in the world of glossy glass smudge vest. That's why other manufacturers should follow an example, but what do you guys think about it? Do you agree with me? The overall build is excellent and the phone feels expensive. I love a high quality metal frame and very nice buttons, including a highly customizable notification slider. The display does not have the highest resolution out there, but I think it is one of the best 1080p panels you can have. It looks really nice and it is bright enough for outdoor use. I don't want to talk about the notch. It's a trend in 2018 and after testing a lot of phones, I'm okay with that. Anyway, you can always hide it within the settings if you don't like it. The camera setup on the back is one of the highlights of the phone, but I will talk about it a little bit later in this video. The phone also has a powerful selfie shooter, a highly customizable notification LED light, a headset jack that provides great sound quality, a dual SIM card tray, and one of the best fingerprint scanners. There is also a face unlock feature which works really well in all lighting conditions. In fact, it may be the most reliable Face ID implementation on any Android phone. It simply works all the time even if you wear glasses or a hat. The phone does not have any official water resistance rating, but the company claims that the OnePlus 6 has a weather protection. That means that it will survive rain or accidental splashes, but you can submerge the phone underwater. The OnePlus 6 lacks wireless charging feature, which is a little bit of a letdown. Finally, the loudspeaker is really good, but it can't compete with dual stereo speaker systems found on most of the flagships. Here is an audio sample. Just as usual to the OnePlus, their flagship phone has bleeding edge specs that translate to excellent all-around performance. You can play absolutely every game on this device without any issues whatsoever. Flagship great performance. Same can be said about day-to-day -day performance as the phone runs on the Oxygen OS, which is basically a stock Android with a few extra features. First of all, I like the dark mode as the UI looks great on the AMOLED display. You can also customize the buttons in a lot of different ways or choose from plenty of gesture and motion controls that are implemented very well. Other customization options include the ability to change accent colors or customize the LED notification light, change fonts, and so on. Again, the speed and fluidity is just off the charts. The phone just feels fast and responsive all the time, no matter what you do with it. As for the camera app, I wish it could take pictures a little bit faster. There is two times optical zoom mode, a portrait, slow motion, and a pro mode that allows you to adjust quite a few image settings. Just before we start talking about the image quality, make sure to check out the TechLine HD Facebook page to download full resolution camera samples and be the judge. Also give me a follow for the latest updates and subscribe to the TechLine YouTube channel if you like what I'm doing. The overall image quality is just great, there is plenty of detail, the colors are nice, and the only complaint would be that some of the shots look slightly overexposed, but that's just nitpicking. 
While the pictures may not look as good or dramatic as taken with a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus or the Huawei P20 Pro, but we're talking about much more expensive phones. The OnePlus 6 easily has the best camera in a sub $500 phone. Here are a few comparison shots. Use that comment section and let me guys know what do you think. Portrait shots look okay, but they could look a little bit better. I wish the pictures were slightly sharper. Selfies look pretty good. However, I'm frustrated that there is no selfie portrait mode, but I'm sure it will be brought via the software update in the future. Low light photos look pretty good too. Again, the OnePlus 6 is not on the same level as the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus or the Huawei P20 Pro, but the device has a very good camera for the price of the phone. 4K video can be shot at 60 frames per second, which is really impressive for the phone that costs just over 500 bucks. The quality of footage is excellent too as there is a lot of detail, continuous autofocus is great and the video is quite smooth. However, you may see a few video artifacts here and there and a bit of shakiness while walking, but that's understandable. The 1080p selfie video quality is pretty good too, but it is slightly overexposed. However, I'm disappointed with the sound recording quality. While it's not bad, it could definitely be better. So this is how the video would look like handheld. And also, I'm trying to talk as much as possible. Connectivity-wise, the OnePlus 6 is just excellent. I had no issues with the call quality or signal reception, the GPS is fantastic, and other connectivity options work just fine. Finally, there are plenty of sensors on board, including the gyroscope. Battery life has been great too. On average, I was able to get about 5.5 hours of screen on time. My usage involved taking a lot of pictures, browsing the web, social media, and so on. Dash charge is still one of the best in the industry as it takes just about 1 hour to quickly charge the phone. The OnePlus delivered again with its latest generation smartphone. Even though the starting price have gone up since last year, you still get a package that is really hard to beat. I love the phone for its simple yet classy design, excellent build, great display, bleeding edge specifications, one of the best overall performances on any phone, great cameras, good battery life, super fast charging feature and software that has a ton of features but it preserves stock Android look and feel. Obviously, there are some trade-offs the company had to make in order to retain a lower than the mainstream flagship's price. I miss stereo speaker setup and there is no official certification for water and dust resistance even though the phone is unofficially splash-proof. Also, there is no wireless charging, no selfie portrait mode and sound recording quality in video mode could be better. If you can't live with these shortcomings and you can pay premium, go with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus or the Huawei P20 Pro, but if you think these features are not important to you, or you simply don't want to spend that much money for the latter phones, the OnePlus 6 is an excellent phone. In fact, it may be the best phone for the starting price of just about 530 bucks, and I can easily recommend it, despite a few trade-offs. But what do you guys think about the OnePlus 6? Would you buy it or would you buy another device? Drop me a comment down below. Also drop me a comment down below if you have any questions about the OnePlus 6. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. Like the video if you liked it. Please follow me on social media for all the latest updates. And as always, it was Linus. Thank you for watching and see you soon.